Welcome to The Composer's Corner. How did it affect your career? Did you have to carry the Stallone name with you? Well, I didn't see it coming. I was the one in the family that I was a musician, singer since I was this big, so let's set the scenario. You're a musician, that point, 13 years professional. You're living in an $85 a month roach-infested apartment in Trenton, New Jersey. You have The only thing life you have is your band. They're like my brothers, they're like my buddies, my band. And the ego we have is playing, going out and being really good, and we have this thing with our records, things are going to happen. But before that, my brother called and said, hey, listen, I'm doing this boxing movie, it's you know, low budget. It was so low budget, they came from California to Philly by train, the whole movie crew. That's low budget. Mm -hmm. And I'm the only guy, obviously the only reason I'm in the movie is I'm the only musician he knows. You know, it's a low budget movie, so I figured, okay, I'll do it. And I was playing the song in my band, you know, waiting for his movie to be made or something. Fast forward a year later, almost, there's this buzz going on, little Rocky on them. Now, where's the handbook that says, okay, your out of work brother, actor, who's done a few movies, virtually unknown to the world and the whole thing in one year will be the most famous actor in the world and his movie that you thought wouldn't be released will be nominated for 10 Academy Awards okay there's no handbook for that all of a sudden I'm playing in bars and I'm seeing people go I see his mouth like wow. people pointing at me like now which they never did before they pointed at me if I was you know dressed weird or something but it wasn't like and all these people coming in the club to see us that I didn't see before, like older, like like real Guidos, you know, <laughs> people I wouldn't even talk to. They were grease balls, right? <laughs> they want to talk and to you. And the girls like with the hey, how you doing? And grab. So all of a sudden, it's like so all of a sudden it's like in the beginning, hey man, supposed to slow Yeah, man, cool. Now, the first few weeks, hey, it's Rocky makes your brother. And all of a sudden. Now I'm starting to get irritated because yeah. now they're not even talking to me anymore. So, so in other words, you're here, but they talk over you. It's like, so it's not even like, hey, Frank, how you doing? It's like, hey, man, how's Rocky? So in other words, you become a non-person. Mm -hmm. And you have to understand, you're, it's identity theft. Yeah. All of a sudden, you're, you're, you, um, you vanish. It's like, you, there's no way, how do you compete with a movie that's nominated for 10 Academy Awards from an unknown actor? Yeah. And here I am, you know, playing guitar, and I was the one that was putting scripts around before we made it, going, hey man, when I make it with my band, I'm going to front of scripts. So I was the guy I thought was going to do that, and I was going to help out and all that stuff. So, but now it's all of a sudden just like a tourist thing, like tourist trap. You yeah, know, like, sure. Like, here's Rocky's brother. And I said, so... They didn't, but they didn't mention anything about the band. No. I think he's cuter than you. That type of stuff. And they're like, oh, man. So what happens is you become you become kind of a non-person. And now you start getting resentful because it's not even like, hey, Frank, how you doing, man? I love the show tonight. You know, man? I mean, I love your brother, too. You both are great. That's fine. Mm -hmm. you know, I mean, well, you, it's a, you know, he's famous. Of course mm -hmm. you're going to like him. So that happened, and it broke the band up. Because now all of a sudden we play these bars that we were playing before, and we come pulling up, and they say, "Frank Stallone, Rocky's brother with Valentine." I say, oh. oh man! Now you have oh. to understand we've been together. So now their identity's getting stripped down too. Well, it's like now they're like my backup band. Yeah, exactly. It's like so, Frank Stallone and Valentine. Yeah, and I didn't ask them to do it. These club owners, these idiots, would do it, and I and I'm embarrassed by it. Mm -hmm. So, and 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 that happened. So then after a while. Um, it was horrible. It went from doing Midnight Special, Dinah Shore Show, Mark Griffin Show, all these big shows. And by the time Rocky, and Rocky stayed out there for a while, okay, mm -hmm. but within a half a year, it was, we were playing dives, nothing, playing nothing. It's all of a sudden, it's like, okay, well, we couldn't get Rocky, we'll get his brother, okay, that's done, he's on to something else. And remember, his next movie bombed, mm -hmm. uh, Fist, okay? Mm -hmm. So now, He's kind of in the same dilemma, but not quite. But now, what do I do? I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm at the prime of my life. I'm 25, 24 years old. I'm at the prime of my life, and all of a sudden, this happens. And uh, and there's no handbook to tell you, this is the pitfalls, don't do this, don't do that. How do I know?
I've got a movie, a huge movie came out yesterday, Fred Claus. Oh, yes! a radio interview. I got a blitz this week. You call me, I give me a, here's my card. All right, we're done. Will you this call me, call, like, oh, you got to call me this week. Yeah. We're doing a blitz. This is the guy, Fred Claus. Claus, it's Fred Claus. Yeah, this, be, sorry. this is the man. Dude, call me. Let's do an interview. I'm serious. This week. Okay. Because I'm doing I'm doing the whole... You got it. All right, man. And I'm your guy. You don't have a card, though. In my back pocket, and I got the whole thing going on. Ah, forget it. Call me. I will call you. And I mean you that, know what? It's funny as you don't think that I will, and I will. You got it, though. He's All probably right. going to call. Right, baby. <laughs> Are we on camera? Yeah. Now, did I age a lot since then? All right, He's, you have great hair. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to know this is real. This is not a tube. You look great. I'm 57. No, you're not. No, you're not. Oh, what are we dying? Are we dying anything here? Dying sideburns a little bit. He dies of sideburns and that's it. Well, you've got that great Italian genetics kind of thing. You look the same. You're like, like you're 12. Thank you. I um, you do look the same. Your hair, your hair, <laughs> hair is still, still the same. same. I know, I haven't aged a bit. She hasn't grown that much in height. It's about the same. No, and I haven't grown in width in neither of you. Yeah, you're very lean. Yeah. So what are you doing to keep in shape? I get up. I'm very up very early at 5 in the morning. 4.30 for me. Yeah, and I put my iPod on. I walk or I go lift at the gym, and I just try to keep in shape, run a little bit. Always working out, hitting the bag. How much do you think that staying in shape helps you as a musician? I think it helps you because... Do you know, I mean, you and I are genetically pretty wiry. If I put on five pounds, I feel sluggish because our weight has always been lean. Mm -hmm. So if I put on five or ten pounds, I feel like a, like a tree sloth. Yeah, yeah, but have you found that aging has had any effect on you? As, um, how has it affected you musically? Has it uh, I affected think my voice your energy? I actually gotten better. Mine is too. I've got more range. Yeah, i got more range. <clears throat> I think I, you know, I sit down more in it. And I think, you know, it's really funny. And in pop music, people say, ah, well, they're finished. And opera, the older you get, the more seasoned you get. When you become like Luciano Pavarotti, God rest his soul. Yeah, God bless them. It, when they're in their 50s and 60s, they're like masters at that point. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like when you look at Robert Plant, they're like masters now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like Clapton's like the master. He's like the keeper of the guard. Yeah. You ain't gonna show him anything. No. He, he's, you know what I mean? B.B. King is a master. He's like a, he's a shaman, you know, of the blues, so. And now Frank Stallone is a master and I just cannot wait to get my grubby I'm hands a on shaman. his I'm like more like Charmin. But he's a charm. Squeezably soft? Yes. No, 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 you're still pretty muscular. What about your fingers? Have you been noticing, ah, uh, yes, I need, have you been noticing any kind of arthritis or no. anything setting in? I got actually very big hands for a guitar player. Let me see. They got thick hands. These are thick hands. Put your hands up in the My hands only take. They keep going up. Wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> He's nailed my hands. Oh my gosh. Ladies and gentlemen, the hands of Frank Stallone, great guitar player. Frank, it is so good to see you again.